So the question is, when would I use a transition instead of an animation and storyline? Well, check this out. I have a simple media interaction here, and I have three images that are residing on three different slide layers. And right now, as I switch between the layers, you'll see that the pictures change, but it's a pretty abrupt change. They're just appearing here. Well, if I want a more refined look, really I've got a couple of different options. I've got animations and I've got transitions. So my first thought is maybe I want these images to fade in. So I'm going to go and use an animation. So I select each of the images on the slide layer and I add a simple fade animation. I'm going to add a fade animation and one more a fade animation. Now pay attention, our base layer background is black. Let's preview here. And the reason I mention that is this. I'm going to fade that first picture in, it looks great. Now I go to fade in the next picture, and you'll notice that you're going to see a little bit of a black, there we go, background before the next image fades in. That's because what's happening here is that these images are fading in, and so for just a moment we're seeing that base layer background, that black. Now it might be a good look, you might not mind this, and certainly it has its appeal, but Let's say you want to take it one step further. You really want a nice, smooth, beautiful transition here between the images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the fades on the images. And instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use slide layer transitions here. So I'm going to select each slide layer and add a layer transition. So what's going to happen is the entire layer is going to transition, not just the image. And watch the difference here. Watch what happens now as we transition between the images. So the first one's going to fade in. Now watch the transition. It's a beautiful crossfade. So instead of having that dip to black and then back into our picture, now we have a constant fade between the images. And for my money, I just think it looks a little more polished and a little more professional. And that is one of the reasons that I like using transitions instead of animations at certain parts of my Storyline project. Now, if you have any questions about working with animations or transitions in Storyline, hey, please stop on by the eLearning Heroes community. We are at eLearningHeroes.com. And stop in, ask your questions. We will be there to help you out. Take care.